G'day guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to show you a couple little updates I've made to the HPA Prophecy. So let's just start off with the reason for these changes. Uh, I had a feeling with the Prophecy that it looked a little bit too realistic. There was a lot of black on it and I didn't really like the colour scheme in general. I just had like this splotch of blue in the middle and nothing really connecting the two together. I had a black stock, black grip and it just looked a little bit too real for me. I do Nerf because it's something that's very creative and I can use my imagination and create anything I want and I wanted this to be a little bit brighter and a little bit more personalized to me. So I went out and I got a blue stock and a blue angled grip from Blaster Tech. The link will be in the description. And these parts are really nice. These are the worker prophecy parts that match the normal prophecy and it just makes the blaster look a little bit well, not a little bit actually, a lot better in my opinion. It makes the colour scheme work a lot better, makes it look a lot less like a gun, and just just looks really nice in my opinion. It's the exact same stock that um, I used previously with the black one, has the same uh, modifications done to it in order to fit the Specs BZ. Just made the hole a little bit nicer with an actual 14mm drill bit instead of just dremeling it out and just looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion which is nice. Little side review for the grip up the front, it's like an angled uh, vertical grip and it's really comfy. It's really nice to grab onto and pull back and push forward. I feel like it's not as angled as an AFG but not as horizontal as a vertical. So this is a nice in between ground where I can really choke up and hold the blaster and pull it in towards me for a nice long shot. Yeah, it's really nice, the colour works great up the front, like I said ties the whole colour scheme together which I was going for. Another change I made to the blaster was this barrel up the front. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit longer than the last barrel. I now have 40 centimeters worth of 16 millimeter aluminium running from here to here. I'm still utilizing brass. The brass goes in about two centimeters into the alu until it just goes aluminium. I just did that by drilling through, inserted the brass, glued that in, and then that stays nice and centered. So I'm still utilizing a brass breech down at the back. I cut a nice thicker breech, well a thicker breech for it. So stuff feeds a lot nicer and darts can just, you know, not get as jammed as much, which I was having a lot of issues with. This works a lot better with workers, this hollower barrel. Uh, it's only slightly larger in diameter, which is nice for making it really long. So that's working better with worker darts now, but I will just be running ACCs in this because personally, for me they're cheaper, they perform just as good as worker darts and they feed a lot better in anything that's not a kit blaster, which is pretty much my whole arsenal. And then up the front we've just got this nice big muzzle piece to protect the inbuilt scar. I'm now using a six string scar on the front of this guy. Uh, it's a really good scar, it's at a quarter turn with six strings and it is shooting some lasers. I find that if you just dial the strings up a little bit tighter for ACCs, you're gonna get the same groupings as worker darts. That's pretty much it for the upgrades, guys. There's just the barrel and the two parts at the front and back. So this is getting a bit better performance now due to the longer barrel. So let's take it outside and see how she goes. a few of my firing demos you know when I hit that thing that's shooting lasers and I got that 10 times consistent pretty much Alright guys, welcome back to Cobber's Accuracy Testing and as always, I've got a little box set up down the end. It's just like a little Nerf ammo crate. Second camera's on it to see how many shots we hit, but we should be able to hear some running this guy at uh, pretty sure 75 PSI, so should be shooting lasers. Hmm, 
Might do that again. through that already so pretty good results there I'll count up how many there are if one missed it was seriously close to it and that small of a target that far away uh, that at a person is definitely gonna hit so definitely happy with this build now let's take it back inside and uh, wrap it up so as you can see guys I didn't hit the box quite as many times as I did that metal post but this thing's shooting absolute lasers. If I'm aiming at a torso that's about 20 meters away, I'm gonna connect, which is awesome. That was firing at about 250 FPS outside, had that on about 75 PSI, so that's pretty much where I'll be running at NIC, then be toning that down to about 55 between 40 for super stock for 150 uh, FPS, and that'll still be shooting dead lasers. All I have to do is maybe arc the sight up a little bit more just to get in line where my darts are traveling and this thing's ready to go for super stock so i hope you guys like where i've taken the prophecy i'm really glad and i've said this in all the prophecy build videos that this thing's finally done uh it's just got these parts now and it just looks a whole lot better feels a whole lot better in the hands and feels like a blaster that's actually mine and not just a kit blaster like i actually built this thing and i'm really proud to take this to a war and wield it on a field so I hope you guys enjoyed. I've got a lot of content in the works for you guys. Um, I've got some awesome gameplay stuff lined up soon. Um, hoping, fingers crossed, to get that out to you as soon as possible. I'm not too sure when it's going to be happening, but um, I'm really excited to do it. I won't say anything yet, just in case it doesn't happen. I've got blaster builds in the process as well that you guys, I'm pretty sure, are going to like. It's more HPA stuff, but the white, but what it is is just gonna be so cool. If you want to see a build vlog on that, let me know and I will do one. But thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you wanna catch up with me when I'm not making videos, check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Discord server in the description of the parts for this blaster in the description as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.